Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Aslan Göysal. I'm a student at Bilkent University and I'm studying electrical and electronics engineering. Today I'm going to show you my EE102 project, which is called Audio Light Modulator, and this is what it looks like. So in this project, it basically takes the sound as an input and it calculates its frequencies and it divides them into three parts, medium, low, and high. And according to that, it lights up LEDs and uh, turns the platform in different angles. Uh, let me briefly show you how it works. So, uh, basically when it's below 1 kHz, the first LED lights up. When it's between 1 kHz and 5 kHz, the sec second one lights up. And when it's above 5 kHz, the third one lights up. Here I have an app for this. This gives a perfect sinusoidal wave to our FPGA. Right now it's below 1 kHz. That's why it lights up the first LED, and as you can see, it turns around uh, about 45 degrees. When I increase this, the second one lights up, and it turns approximately 90 degrees. And when it's above 5 kilohertz, it turns 135 degrees, and the third LED lights up. And let's... Uh, Play some music to see how this would work in real life. So, uh, this project can be used in the enter entertainment industry since it creates a real-time visual representation of the sounds. And let me explain it to you how I uh, measured the frequency. I actually didn't use an ADC here. I just put the um, audio signal to the FPGA. Also, I have an amplifier here because I measured the voltage across the uh, microphone. It turned around to be 200 millivolts, which, which was not a lot, so I amplified it. And in the code, it basically uh, has a frequency counter and it detects the audio as a clock, basically. And when it goes from zero to one, which means when it's in rising edge, it counts the number of rising edges of the clock, which is 100 me mega uh, hertz. Uh, let me show you how I did it in the code as well. For example, here we have the frequency counter at 100 thousand this means uh, it detects it when the uh, frequency is one kilohertz and for example this is five kilohertz and um, here we have the code for the motor and this is basically it in conclusion uh, I did actually uh, see some errors because uh, at first, I wanted to calculate the amplitude as well, but this was not possible because our FPGA is not meant for uh, calculating the sound, apparently. Uh, because here, uh, it only detects 1.8 uh, volts, and I didn't actually want to burn the FPGA because we don't actually know how many volts this microphone detects because we can, you know, uh, make it closer and the voltage is not stable, uh, but um, generally I think my project was a success and that's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>